Once upon a time, in a land not far away, lived a princess named Quarantina who loved to frolic and play. She was able to be free and run throughout all her lands, seeing friends and smiling faces and even shaking hands. But then one day she awoke to a terrible fright. A virus had arrived and the kingdom changed overnight. The orange man on TV declared, It's a pandemic, we're all through. You must lock yourselves away. No more freedom for any of you. The princess said goodbye and made herself a teepee tower. She bought masks, rubber gloves, and spent her days in the shower. She sang happy birthday three times when she rinsed. Her trusted three-ply had filled the void of finding her prince. But suddenly one day, her royal iPad gave a shout. A prince named Quarantoni had decided to seek her out. Quarantina, Quarantina, won't you come out and play? I would love to, the princess sighed, if you'd stand six feet away. But alas, social distancing left no room for love, so she locked herself away and pre-ordered more gloves. As the princess grew older, her days were less bright. She drank quarantinis from morning till night. She watched Quibi and Showtime and Netflix and Hulu. She watched so many shows, she began to go cuckoo. Quarantoni also gave up and began turning tricks. He had nothing left to give but a couple of big picks. The princess considered turning to meth, as another Trump press conference seemed a fate worse than death. Alexa! How do you make meth? I'd rather not answer that. But then at long last, the quarantine was done. The virus defeated, the people had won. Prince Quarantoni rejoiced with the news. He would go to the princess. She couldn't refuse. He traveled as fast as he could through mountains and sea. Arrived at her balcony and got down on one knee. But the end of this story takes a turn that's quite sad. For the prince quickly realized Quarantina had gone mad. Alas, the quarantine had stopped the virus's spread. But the price was that the princess was now permanently f***ed in the head. Wait.